the ion moment responsible for changes in the membrane potential during an action potential are mediated by voltage gated ion channels there are many types and subtypes of voltage gated ion channels and each cell will have a specific set of ion channels so the ionic basis of an action potential differs in each cell type in this video we are going to discuss a simple two ion model of action potential seen in some neurons the permeability of sodium and potassium are altered by opening and closing of voltage gated channels results in depolarization and repolarization resting membrane potential is close to the equilibrium potential of potassium since the tandem pore or the two pore potassium channels are open even at resting state they are also called leaky potassium channels they are not voltage gated and they are responsible for the negative membrane potential at rest during depolarization phase of an action potential the sodium ion permeability increases many folds and the membrane potential becomes positive the inactivation of sodium channel and the opening of voltage gated potassium channel which increases the permeability of potassium results in the repolarization if we plot the changes in the membrane potential against time we will get a spike like this a depolarization followed by a repolarization this is the resting membrane potential and this small depolarization represents the change due to the stimulus and once this reaches the threshold enough voltage gated sodium channels are opened to initiate a positive feedback and it completes the depolarization this graph shows the conductance of sodium ions which is a measure of charge movement across the membrane more conductance means more sodium ions are moving across the membrane to have a high conductance sodium ion needs higher permeability and electrochemical driving force sodium has a huge electrochemical driving force driving the sodium ion inside the cell and the increase in permeability is due to opening of voltage gated sodium channel so the conductance increases the sodium channels immediately undergo inactivation and the sodium conductance decreases immediately the voltage gated potassium channels also open due to the depolarizing stimulus which opened the sodium channels but the potassium channels open slightly slower than the sodium channels so the potassium conductance reaches its peak after the sodium conductance peak the inactivation of potassium channels varies depending upon the type of the ion channels there are non inactivating slowly inactivating and rapidly inactivating types and the same cell may have more than one type of voltage gated potassium channels if they do not inactivate immediately then the conductance of potassium remains more than the baseline and it results in an after hyperpolarization in some neurons the inactivation of the ion channel is one of the reasons for refractory period seen in some neurons when a membrane is generating an action potential a second action potential is not possible some process like muscle contraction tend to overlap when one contraction is being executed a second contraction is also possible and both submit and produce a higher force of contraction but for action potential there is a refractory period this is because the sodium channels undergo inactivation after opening for a brief period they will not open again unless they reach a closed state which can happen only if the membrane is repolarized so it is not possible to elicit a second action potential the refractory period is divided into absolute refractory period where a second action potential is impossible and a relative refractory period where a second action potential might be elicited when a higher stimulus strength is given this is because there are enough sodium channels in the closed state now during the relative refractory period which are ready to be opened but there is a hyperpolarizing current due to high potassium permeability which opposes depolarization so a higher stimulus strength can elicit an action potential during a relative refractory period this concept of refractory period is essential for understanding unidirectional conduction of action potential let us assume this action potential has reached till this point in the membrane the movement of ions will tend to depolarize the adjacent membrane but the preceding area is still repolarizing and it is refractory to the depolarization this is because most of the sodium channels are still in the inactivated stage this will not open so the depolarization wave moves only in one direction 
The inactivation of ion channels also explain another phenomena called accommodation. When a membrane is quickly depolarized, let's say by 15 millivolts, it reaches the threshold and an action potential is elicited. But if it is changed slowly over a prolonged period by the same magnitude of 15 millivolts, the membrane will not elicit an action potential. This is because the voltage gated sodium channels has undergone inactivation. The adequate number of sodium channels must be in an open state simultaneously to bring out the positive feedback and generate an action potential. If membrane depolarizes slowly, the sodium channels open and inactivate gradually. So the simultaneous availability of opened channel number will not be adequate enough to initiate the positive feedback and an action potential. And in certain cell, higher stimulus strength might be required at this point to generate an action potential. So we call this decrease in the excitability. And this is also because the number of sodium channel available in the closed state has decreased. So this property is called as accommodation. Thank you.